having massively impressed last season on loan at Newcastle United. Is Joe Willock on his way back over to Tyneside for £20 million? We shall also get an update on the transfer of James Madison, as well as Arsenal's pursuit of a brand new centre forward. So join me today in the latest episode of The Transfers FC. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Babs14 and welcome back to your boys channel. As per massively, I appreciate you guys can go down there and smash a like on the video. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing to the boys channel because we are on the road to the big old 60k. We're getting straight into the Arsenal transfer news and starting off with a certain Joe Willock. The 21-year-old England midfielder was on loan last season at Newcastle United where he bagged an impressive 8 goals in 14 Premier League appearances. And they have always made it no secret they wanted Joe Willett to come back to Tyneside. But in terms of Arsenal and Mikel Arteta, they were always undecided. They clearly see the potential of the player, but at the same time, they've also got expensive transfer targets. But today, we have a bit of exclusive news from Mr. David Ornstein. As he says, the Newcastle have agreed a fee with Arsenal to sign Joe Willock on a permanent basis. Postal terms still need to be finalised, so deal is not done yet. Price would be in excess of £20 million for the 21-year-old England youth midfielder. A £20 million fee has been agreed a Officially, and this is from a tier 1, a tier 0 Arsenal source in Mr. David Ornstein. And when David Ornstein speaks, you gotta just listen. Even Chris Wheatley says on his Instagram, Joe Willock will join Newcastle on a permanent transfer for a fee in the region of £22 million after Arsenal Newcastle reached an agreement. Willock wasn't selected in today's match to squad after a breakthrough in talks over the last 24 hours. So there you guys go, Arsenal have secured the bag £20 million plus for young Joseph Willock. I I am not gonna lie to you guys, I've always been a massive admirer of the player and at just 21 years of age, I have always seen his future potential. But then saying that we are not Korea Med FC, we're Arsenal FC. Arsenal need a ready-made player for the now and for the present. As Chris Wheatley put it out, Willock was not involved in Arsenal's matches squad today. And after the game, the Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has spoken. As he simply said, with Joe, we will explain the reasons when we can. So Mikel Arteta has basically confirmed there and there that Willock was not out via injury or any other reason. And essentially, he has given us a low-key hint or confirming a potential transfer. Even last night, Simon Jones of the mail said that Steve Bruce had been handed a massive boot in landing top target Joe Willock as Arsenal opened talks with Newcastle over a £20 million deal. Willock had hesitated over the decision while Arsenal had offered him as a potential make weight in their bid for James Madison. Now in terms of Arsenal, are they going to have a buyback clause, a sell-on clause, we're going to have to wait and see. But in terms of young Joseph, I have to say I wish you the best of luck in the future. I can see your potential, of course I can, and hopefully you strive at Newcastle United. Now that Arsenal are going to get 20 plus million pounds for Joe Willock and the fact that this is a permanent deal and not a loan with the obligation to buy, Arsenal now have some cash in hand that they can put on the table now for James Madison. And with Arsenal having offered a player plus cash deal in the past, I now fully expect Arsenal to put a brand new offer on the table very soon and hopefully that bid will be closer to the 60 million price tag that Leicester City have set on James Madison. Is young Joseph going to be Arsenal's sacrificial lamb in the transfer to get the money in and bring a certain James Madison to the Emirates Stadium? I'm hoping that's the case and that needs to be the case. And so now it is in the hands of Arsenal Football Club. You've got the money for Joe Willock and are you now going to use that money to accelerate the pursuit of James Madison? As per my friends, we're going to have to wait and see. But do let me know your own thoughts down below in the comments on Joe Willock and him leaving Arsenal for 20 plus million pounds. Are you for it or are you against it? Reporter Alan Nixon says that Brighton want to sign £20 million rated striker Eddie Nketiah to cure their goal scoring woes. Talking about the money, 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 could we be getting 20 million quid for Edward Nketiah? The report has also claimed that Graham Potter has put the young gunner at the top of his wanted list for the vacancy in his squad. They hope to snatch it for £20 million. And you know what, with all the respect, I also hope so. Because things are not going to work for Nketiah Arsenal, unfortunately. He is a decent little striker, and I think. At a club at Brighton, where he has less pressure on his shoulders, he can really thrive. And if Arsenal do somehow 
now get £20 million for Eddie Nketiah, who has just one year left on his current Arsenal contract, that would be a massive negotiation masterclass. And just like in the case of Joe Willock, if Arsenal were to get money for Eddie Nketiah, that in turn massively aids Arsenal in the pursuit for other transfer targets, because then they have more money in their hands to put on the table. And while we were discussing sales FC, what other players do you want to see Arsenal sell in this transfer window? An interview has come out of Lotaro Martinez's agent, Alejandro Camano, says Lotaro is happy at Inter and in Italy, his decision is to stay. And as Fabrizio Romano has confirmed, Tottenham made a bid for Lotaro days ago, but Inter want to keep him. Now this comes after reports broke in the UK today that Tottenham Hotspur had agreed a £60 million deal with Inter Milan for Lotaro Martinez. Yeah, you heard that right, we're talking Nando's FC and £60 million, jeez. But in terms of Arsenal Football Club, Dean Jones says, Lotaro has a big personal offer on the table from Arsenal and it's time to step up with an offer to Inter Vo if they really want him. So apparently Arsenal have made a personal offer to Martinez but are yet to put forward an official bid to Inter Milan. The only club to do so of course is Tottenham Hotspur who could have a lot of cash in their bank if they were to sell Harry Kane. But in terms of the overall transfer as the player's agent has confirmed today, he wants to stay at Inter Milan and in terms of Inter themselves having sold Romelu Lukaku, as Fabrizio Romano has confirmed in the past, they don't want to let go of Martinez and Lukaku in the same transfer window. And so does this end any hopes of Arsenal trying Trying to sign Lautaro Martinez. Unfortunately, today, my friends, I think this deal is over and he is done. Right, yo, then moving on to Arsenal versus Tottenham Hotspur. Put Lautaro Martinez to a side for a second. Arsenal, of course, did play Tottenham Hotspur today at their stadium, and it was a 1 0 defeat at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And yeah, I understand it was just a pre-season friendly, but at the same time, anytime you lose a North London derby, it's always going to hurt. And before the game, of course, one thing to notice was that Willian was not involved in the match day squad for Arsenal. And having not played against Chelsea, he also hasn't played against Tottenham or been involved in the match day squad. As Chris Whitley also says here, Willock trained ahead of the game, but in terms of Willian, it doesn't appear that he's in any of the training photos that were released. And so make of that what you will, but does it confirm that Willian is on his way out of Arsenal? For me, I really do hope so. In terms of a few positives, starting off with Albert Sambi Lokonga, in the first half, he had a 96% pass accuracy, 14 passes in the Spurs half, three times he won the ball back, one tackle and one interception. At 21 years of age, Albert Sambi Lukonga was impressive in his first ever North from the Derby and with the injury to Al Garnet and excellence in Thomas Partey. I think it is quite clear that Lukonga has to start against Brentford in five days time. Another impressive player was Mr. Benny Blanco, Mr. Benjamin White. A ball playing centre back, tears in my eyes, driving out the back, and even defensively, he was solid, always aggressive, always trying to play on the front foot. And he gave me a little bit of prime Cosioni vibes. But those were the real only positives. And trust me, there are quite a few other negatives. Starting off with Pablo Mari, for me, he had a horrific game. Not only was he involved in Arsenal's goal would be conceded, but also in terms of the high line, we can't play it with a lack of pace of Pablo Mori because Spurs were just playing a simple ball over the top and Spurs constantly were getting in behind. And another negative for me was our captain Pierre Aubameyang, who has now gone throughout the whole of preseason without scoring a single goal for Arsenal Football Club. And so now going into that crunch game, the first game against Brentford next Friday, what do we do with Pierre Eric Aubameyang? And dare I say, do we drop our captain? My friends, I will leave us with you down below in the comments. And in terms of our overall preseason results, we lost to Hibernian, Drew Rangers, beat Millwall, beat Watford, then lost to Chelsea and lost to Tottenham. Three defeats, one draw and two wins, it is simply not good enough. Now ultimately, this is just pre-season. In past years, we've beaten the likes of Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, some really big clubs and ultimately, it has meant nothing. And the fact that we're five days away from the start of the brand new Premier League season and we've only made one first team signing in Ben White, it is starting to get very worrying and I'm starting to ask massive questions of Eric Gaspar, Richard Garlic, and even Mikel Arteta. But what are your own thoughts on Arsenal's performance today against Tottenham? And what are your thoughts going into the start of the season as things stand? Okay, then moving on to the other Arsenal news today. We still have quite a bit more transfer news, starting off with the centre forwards. Gianluca Di Marcio of Italy claims that Arsenal, who are pushing cover Tammy Abraham, face strong competition from Atalanta. If Arsenal are serious about Tammy Abraham, we're gonna have to 
stay vigilant. Because if Inter Milan do sign Duvan Zappa as a replacement for Romelu Lukaku from Atalanta, then Atalanta are going to have a lot of money to spend and they're going to spend it on a certain Tammy Abraham. Of course, we've already spoken about Lotaro Martinez, but could Tammy Abraham also be off the market very soon? We are going to have to wait and see. Juan Luca Di Marcio also says, There are various clubs willing to make an offer to Fiorentina, but do some Vlahovic. The main ones are Arsenal and Atletico Madrid, who are looking for bigger names in view of the start of the championships. He of course is a 21-year-old Serbian international striker who plays for Fiorentina in Serie A and he is one of the most highly rated young centre forwards in the world. But as you guys are aware, the price of this player, it is not cheap, we're talking £50 million. And if Arsenal do have that sort of money, then is Vlahovic the right option? What centre forward do you want to see Arsenal realistically sign in this transfer window? UK reporter Charlie Wyatt says that Arsenal are joining Man United in their hunt for Kieran Trippier and for the right price I think it would be a terrific signing. 31 year old England international Kieran Trippier to Arsenal as a right back, well well well, who would have thought it? He used to play for Nando's FC but he currently plays for Atletico Madrid and he was voted the La Liga right back of the year. But at 31 years of age, is Kieran Trippier the right signing for Arsenal? But then saying that with our current right back being Hector Bellerin, who am I to say no to Kieran Trippier? But what are your own thoughts on the English right back and is he a player that you would take at Arsenal? But that is the video there and there. If you have enjoyed, make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing to your boy's channel. If you want to follow your boy on them social medias, then the links will be down below in the description. But that was the latest episode of The Transfers FC. I hope you have enjoyed. But in terms of Arsenal, take care, Joe Willock, and give us a certain big matters. But until then, I will see you guys soon in a bit.